Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Alright, today's episode, I want to get into the Metal Caster. That way we can do iron and tin and copper and all that cool stuff. Actually, copper we can do without it, but, you know. Anyway, before I get started, I do want to say, one of my YouTube viewers suggested, and his name is Mr. The Furax, hopefully I said that right, he said check out the auto clicker for making wood. So, if you've killed the pixies, the little pink ones, and you've probably gotten pixie dust. Alright, chalk is just four of the chalk dust which you get from straining, which you should have tons of that. Alright, and you make this thing called the auto clicker. So basically, if we hop down here, we place it like this. I tried it on the side and it wasn't working. So on top like this, put a chopping block here. We're going to take a hopper here and put it like that. Then we're going to take a shelf, put it here, and we can put, let's see, eh, no, I actually want this. I want wood. All right, the hopper automatically places them in here, and this is set to right click by default. So you want to go left click, get rid of the spruce that it already picked up. So put an axe in there. And right now it's not doing anything. It says it needs RF, but it does not. I didn't realize that. There are several things in this pack that say they need RF, but they're disabled, so they use zero RF. And basically you can set the speed that this chops at. So if we set the speed at five, one click every 10 ticks, that's every half a second. So if we were to do that, you can see this thing goes and chops like this. Now we can speed it up like this. All right, this is epic. We now have an auto woodcutter. Thank you so much, Mr. The Furax. I am so grateful for this. This this is awesome. This will save me a lot of time, especially if I forget something and I need something on camera. I don't have to sit there and cut it. This is epic. Now, it will use the durability on your axe, so be aware of that. But yeah, this thing will just go to town. All right. So what do we need today? Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go, pull the wood out. All right, so today's quest, I did do a couple of quests by accident. Um, I finished off the plant one, which we had pretty much done. Um, the metal growth, we can work on that. Grow your crops, we had to make fertilizer. We haven't made the grindstone yet, but I'm not gonna do that today. Today's episode is going to be crushing. We need a crushing table and a stone hammer. All right, so let's go here, and we want crush. All right, where is it? Oh, there it is. Crushing table. There we go. And we're going to put this down like this. All right, now we need a stone hammer. I forgot to grab that. Let's see. Hammer. And we want this one here. All right, and I got a few of those because I'm going to need them. All right, so the next thing we need is copper plates. We need one. All right, but basically, if I have these in my inventory, I can right-click to place one down and then hold right-click with the hammer in my hand, and it will turn it into a plate. Now, it will automatically pull the rest from my inventory and keep placing them. So if I just hold down right-click, it's going to go to town on these ingots that I had which I had plenty of them. I smelted up most of my copper just because I'm going to need it for this episode. All right, so there we go. We only needed one, but we have 17, and I still have a full stack of ingots right here. All right. Oh, I, on I have only the possibility to make copper ingots, but plates are probably more useful for crafting machines. A crushing table where I can flatten ingots into plates is very much needed. All right, so we did that. Now the foundry task. Copper, we need 17, and we need refractory bricks. Now, I already made the refractory bricks ahead of time just because they take a little bit. All right, and it's basically refractory clay, which is just clay around sand. And then you take them and you smelt them just like you would normal clay to get bricks. Alright, and I guess I should actually read this. From all the metals I gathered from the strainer, the only one I seem to be able to process is copper. 
I wonder if I can construct a device that is able to process the other ores. I also need a heat resistant clay variant that is able to hold the liquids. To create the molds, I need a special mold crafting station which accepts refractory clay blocks. All right, so we're gonna need a burner heater, a melting crucible, a mold crafting station, and a faucet. Wow, okay. So let's see what we can make. If we go shift left click all of this to remove. All right, so what do we need a burner heater? Burner, there we go. I think I'm gonna need two of these, oops. Uh, let's see, shift left click and one, two, so I don't get extra, there we go. That looks like it's cracked. That's strange. All right, we're actually gonna need a basic furnace. So let's go ahead and rip one of these up because I don't use these anymore. I just left them here because I knew I was gonna need them for this later. All right, so it was the burner heater. We're gonna go ahead and make one of those and we're actually gonna put it down right here. All right. Let's see, refractory casing. I'm gonna need a copper cauldron. I remember that much. All right, and I need to clear up some space in my inventory. All right, let's see, chopping block. Let's see, get rid of some of this, some of this, some of that, some of that. I have way too much wood in my inventory now. That chopping block is just awesome. All right, uh, let's see, what was it? We need the melting crucible. All right, melting crucible basic. We can go ahead and craft that. Now that is going to go on top of this. Oops, room is missing 64 exposed concrete blocks. Guess what? We need concrete. And for concrete, what we're going to do is we need quick lime. All right, we're going to put it in a square like this. And quick lime is just lime that has been cooked in a furnace. All right, so let's do this, this, and grab some leaves because we are going to need quite a bit of water. So let's see. We'll put this in here and here real quick and throw some leaves in here so that can be working while we are working. All right, so we left click here and then we're gonna left click, right click to replace that bucket. All right, so then we're gonna go here, oops, here. All right, so now that we have slaked lime, we can use that with sand to get lime plaster. All right, so let's grab some sand. We're gonna mix this like this and the lime plaster is gonna make us concrete with sand and gravel. So we grab sand, gravel, oops, sand and gravel. I was left clicking instead of right clicking. All right, and where'd the lime go? Let me, hmm. Oh, when I left clicked it went in here. Wow. There is a way to like quick throw stuff from your inventory into the shelf. There we go, concrete. And that is actually another quest which is over here, which for my next contraption I will need a factory-like building. I should try to make a bunch of concrete for that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put all this concrete here. And like I said before, I wish I could just use the you know, like concrete would take the place of wattle and daub, and that would take the place of cob too, and all that stuff, but it doesn't work that way. All right, I actually like the look of that concrete. That's pretty nice. All right, so now we can put down the melting crucible. Ooh, no, I can't either. I need 15 more. Wow. Okay, let's pull out this pick since it's fast. How many more did I say I needed? 15? I don't even remember.
All right, let's try and put it down again and see what it says. All right, it works this time. Wow. Okay, we're also going to need... Ooh. See, I thought I had everything ahead of time for this episode, and it turns out that I didn't. Let's see. Terra Clay. Come on. There we go. Clean one of those. I'm going to need gravel and sand. Sand and gravel. And I want grout. All right, we'll do this. Pull that out. And then what we're going to do is take the grout, run over here, and start cooking it. You can see I got even more copper sitting in that furnace. Yeah, okay. See, I made quite a few furnaces just so I could smelt stuff up. All right, so let's go back to the foundry. All right, so we need a mold crafting station. A mold crafting station right here. See, we need another basic furnace. And we're also going to need a crafting table. Can I do it in this corner? Yes, I can. I'm just going to make a bunch of them because we're going to need more later. All right, so the mold crafting station. What am I missing? Ooh, stone slab is stone and a saw. And I'm going to need a copper saw. So let's see, copper hand saw. It's going to be two plates. I'm going to need... Okay, wooden pin. I was going to say, wait a second, I can't make an iron pin yet. Uh, let's see, my saw is over here. I'm going to need a stick. And my inventory is full. I will be grateful when we get chests. All right, let's put that there. Put the lever here. Put the torches here. Put the rocks whoops, there. Let's put the extra auto clicker up there. Put the extra concrete up there. Okay, there we go. And we'll put the extra terra clay up there. What was I doing? I needed a pin. All right, so we need a copper saw. Come on, there we go. We need smooth stone or stone. I keep calling it smooth stone. I actually want quite a few of those because I got projects for them later. All right, the mold crafting station. There we go. All right, so basically what we do is we put this down. We're also going to need more refractory clay, aren't we? And what did I say that was? Refractory. Refractory clay block. Okay, just clay around sand. And I should have... Hmm. There we go. Clay here. Right? Nope, that's concrete. Is this clay? That's the auto clicker. Here we go. One clay. Are you kidding me? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and I got the refractory clay. We're going to finish making up the faucet here, which is going to complete this. All right, the next part, we're going to need an ingot casting table, plate casting table, and a block casting table. Now, these things are a little bit of a pain to make. All right, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take refractory clay blocks. All right, you're going to put one up here. Now, if we look, ingot. And we hit the recipe for this. You can see this is a depth of two, these right here. So what we're going to do is one, two, one, two, one, two. We're going to do this, like this. And then we're going to put a piece of coal in here. And what that is going to do is it's going to make this into a mold. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put that. Let's see. Ingot mold. We need this ingot casting and like this now we can put this here and now let's see tin melts very fast I think all right so what we do is we put missing two concrete blocks are you kidding me 
Let's see, this is the concrete here. Yeah, I'm going to have to dig out a little bit more of the ceiling just so I can put stuff up against the walls. All right, there we go. We put our metal in the top here. We put our fuel in the bottom here, and it will start. And once it reaches this temperature here, it will start smelting and fill this tank with the liquid. We put the faucet on the side like this. And then as soon as we have enough liquid, we can right click and it will cast like that. Now what I normally do is put a chest here in the floor once I have them. And I just have a hopper at the bottom of this and just auto cast. Then I eventually replace it with a liquid tube. All right, so that is the melting crucible and the burner heater. This is how it works. It was a little bit tedious today trying to get all this done and I kind of squished it into an episode. I feel kind of like I was rushed. Um, next episode, we will get into some more interesting stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.